Uh, good morning. I want to share something with you this morning, and it's in the book of Second Timothy, I believe, in the first chapter. It says, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the will of God, according to the promise of life, which is in Christ Jesus, to Timothy, a beloved son. I want to say this, this is to you, whatever your name is this morning, a beloved son, a beloved daughter, God is wanting to send a message to you. I thank God whom I serve with a pure conscience as my forefathers did, as without ceasing I remember you in my prayers night and day. When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you, verse 6 says, Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This morning I know several people are probably challenged with emotions and challenged, you know, with despair. Challenged because others have greater expectations of them than they are able to fulfill, or you think you are able to fulfill. I, I want you to know that God has already empowered you. Don't let the enemy steal your joy. Don't let the enemy steal your peace. Don't let the enemy steal your vision. The landscape around you is God prepared. Is God ready? It is ready for you to jump in and do what he has said you can do. And you are more than capable. You have within you the one that is more than a conqueror. You are the one that is already victorious because of what Jesus Christ has done. I want to get you, encourage you to get back to the word. Get back to for Second Timothy, rather, chapter 1. And realize that when Timothy was, was um, receiving this letter, when Paul sent this letter to him, Timothy was in despair. Timothy was challenged. As a matter of fact, Paul said, I see your tears. So in the spirit, Paul understood that Timothy was significantly challenged with the work that he was doing. Not because the people, you know, were, um, were running away or anything like that. And maybe that was the case also. Not because there was no money, not because there were other things that were not necessarily working according to God's plan. But within himself, he might have been doubting. Because everything can be going well, but within yourself you have doubts. Within yourself you have challenges. This morning I want you to walk with God. Walk with him knowing that he is the one that stands with you. He is the one that will walk with you. He is the one that will empower you. He's the one that will strengthen you. Just reach out and touch him. And remember, my friends, I'm praying for you this morning that you will truly fulfill God's purpose in the earth, the one you were designed to do, the one you were born to do. And like Jeremiah, he knew you before you were formed in your own mother's belly, and he has already empowered you to walk in ministry and in the giftings that he has given in Jesus' name, amen.